see if any of the doors survive this match. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Are you, are you guys having a shootout in the air, Vince? We're going to. The level 30 costume. Uh, you get new skins for your default stuff at, five, at 10 and 20. And then at 30, you get a new skin, and then I check the wiki and from there, it increments to 5 until I think it's level 120. Or the least Nikki that's it. The... Oh, yeah. Isn't it like level 100 is a guy in his boxers? Uh, no, that's suit? actually one I have. You get that by playing like the sixth mission of the campaign and killing an acrid that's flying over the map dropping bombs. Oh, really? Oh, that one. Yeah. There are two skins you can get from the campaign, technically three. There's the Nevik suit that Joe has, which you can get just by playing any mission of the campaign, even the tutorial. Then there is the... The one which is Mega Man, which you get from, you know how the missions, there are those floating discs you can collect as a, as a you know, a little achievement run? Yeah. Oh, each, if you get five missions in a row, you get all of them. Five or six, you'll get a skin for it. You'll get Mega Man. And then the guy in his okay. boxes you get is, there's one mission where you start, where you have to climb a sheer ledge, and there's an eight grid flying over dropping bombs. Yeah, if yeah. you can kill that acrid, it'll give you a skin. <laughs> yeah, see that's... Kill the acrid oh, and complete the level. See, that's way different than the PS3 version. On the PS3 version, you get those characters for, like, each level. Like, say, level 35, I think, is Mega Man. The guy with the boxers, I think, is, like, level 70 or 5 or something like that. Uh, yeah, those are achievement characters on PC. Huh. Yeah, and then the PS3 version's got one exclusive character, Luca. You know, Luca from the story? The girl? Yeah. I, guy. I thought, I, thought oh, I, no. I thought I remember seeing her in the old days, but maybe they had so cross platform. Don't do it. I know I saw what I thought was Yuri's model a lot. On one of the like, mid 40 Yeah, that's the one you unlock in level 75. Get down here. I kind of forget about the campaign. I just skip all the silly anime cutscenes to right to the battle. I mean, it wasn't that that bad. At least when I was a child, I thought it was pretty alright. Apart from the opening cutscene, the rest is just. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, some of the dialogue's a little bit sketchy, I guess, sir. <laughs> but it's. Uh, I thought it was alright. It's fine. I think it's silly. <laughs> I remember I'd never beat the campaign until pretty recently. Oh, really? Screw that final boss. Oh, yeah, man. He's... It's a little bit random, that final boss, like, how it works out and how it plays out. Yeah. Let's introduce entirely new game mechanics for the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. You yeah. only have the broadsword share out of big plastic balls, the only thing that actually hurts them. When you're putting on real difficulty. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What, you beat it on extreme back in I I beat I got I, I beat everything but the one on boss on extreme and I gave up after a while. Really? <laughs> yes. How long like, does that take? I, like a like two or three months of just trying to get I I get through that. I gave up after a while. That sounds about right. Was I was a kid, I'd be all sorts of things. What's that? Okay. I was like, I remember when I was a kid, I had no standards for, for my time, so I wasted hours and hours trying to beat these old games on the hard difficulty. <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, the fire alarms. Uh, the sprinklers go off if you shoot them. I forgot about that. Wait, what? Yeah, in the hallways, if you use explosives, the sprinklers will start going off. Huh, I forgot about that. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing well this map. Maybe I'll actually be able to get up past David for once. Guy, Thank you for organizing here. this. This is fun. Stand still! Thank you. Hey David, thanks for hosting this. This is really quite fun. Oh, no problem, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you can Is everybody up in the construction yard? Oh, join us. It's fun up here. Ooh, a rocket launch. What? What? Ha! Team up! Oh, he's spawning here too. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded spawn immunity, the most powerful thing in multiplayer. That and the homing missiles for the mech. Oh yeah. I mean, I never Which ones? The general plasma later or the the homie launcher, as it was called in one server I played? You know the, the four charge. Launcher. Yeah, the, the four yeah, charge that. VS thing that made a massive arc and would track. Ooh. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I rarely can kill anyone. It's, it's always like a, it's like a plague to me. <laughs> Man, I kills me. Like... Yeah, the Lost Planet groups. I'm not sure the story behind it, but we just started calling it the Home Monster. Ah, this should get me a past you. <laughs> Just the whole thing. Like, get the token satisfaction. Oh, 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 What's the worst grenade type, do you think? In your opinion. Uh, probably gun grenades. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the biggest downside. Maybe dump it over. Oh no. I mean, dump it can be useful, especially in a map that's heavily reliant on green art. Like if you're doing, uh, what's the game mode called? Lone Wolf? Ah! Oh, Sky just took the lead. down for some more matches or y'all get tired or... <laughs>